even though we had to do um, you know, virtual election and all of that. So thank you, thank you so much. All of your efforts are definitely uh, help us in this election. And also thank you to the SEC um, for also try to stay dedicated and do what they need to do to promote election, to get folks to vote and, uh, and candidate, to keep candidate motivated, even though in this time where we couldn't really see each other in person. And uh, extra thank you for Cynthia's leadership, who was awesome, and I kind of get that team together and stick with it and really pushed everyone in to make it happen. So thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm so happy and I'm so excited, and I can't wait until you all find out the results. Uh, so on that note, I will turn it to Cynthia. Um, thanks, Carol. Thanks for the introduction and for your kind words. Um, I actually have a lot to say, so I kind of wrote some notes down. So please excuse if you see that I'm reading off my screen. Um, but first and foremost, I would like to start off by congratulating everyone, from the candidates to the students and staff who worked behind the scenes to make this year's election happen. There was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of changes on an ongoing basis, but we managed. I especially want to thank all the students who served on the Student Election Commission, and I'm going to read off their names just because they were, valu they were very valuable and they were very detrimental to this process. Um, so we have Peyton Robinson, Kylie Kim, Somia Trivedi, Nora Tara Kelly, Joshua Reyes, and Anemma Med. Um, since our first training until now, they have shown their dedication and eagerness to continuously support the election process and all the candidates. Another huge thank you goes out to the, all the SEC advisors. They provided me with so much support and so much guidance, and there's no words to describe my gratitude, um, but I can't thank them enough. I mean, really, there was, they were really there to support me, and I really appreciate it. Um, overall, it's been a pleasure working with everyone. Um, we all relied on each other, and we supported each other through something that would never be happen. Um, so I really want you to be proud of others, but most important, importantly, be proud of yourself. Without, without many of you, the outcome for elections would have been different. Thank you all for being flexible and adapting to participating in a first time ever virtual election. Like this has never been done. This was so unexpected, but you know, we made it work. There were some tough times along the way, but we really made it work. And I hope you all see that, that you were part of something greater. I mean, sure, right now, maybe we think this is nothing, but in a few years from now, we're going to look back and we're going to see that this was like, wow, this was a wow experience. Um, so thanks for being flexible. I also hope that regardless of the results, candidates, you are all proud of yourselves. I know that being a candidate is tough. I've been in your shoes twice, and I hope you all found this experience challenging, yet very rewarding. Um, some of you didn't have social media and your efforts to campaign online. Um, was difficult, but you all did such a great job using social media that this year surpassed last year's voter turnout. This year, we had a total of 2,460 students participate and vote. Um, so despite all the uncertainty and all the changes happening, we actually did a pretty good job. So just know that you all did a job and we appreciate you all putting yourself out there. I know putting yourself out there can be very discouraging, um, but just know that it paid off. Um, and before we move on, I want to remind everyone that there's different ways to get, on, get involved on campus. You can make a difference on campus even if you don't have an official title. Um, every semester, we're in need for students to serve on the AS committees as well as committees from Academic Senate. Um, there's lots of benefits from serving on the committees, so please look into that if things don't turn out well this semester. Um, and you can also apply to be in the SEC. So if you want to be chief election officer like myself next year or any of the other positions on the SEC, app um, applications are in the fall for those positions. Um, and then lastly, we do have one vacant position for the board of directors and that position is the director of community and outreach. This position will open up today and applications are due May 1st by 4 p.m. Um, to visit, um, visit the AS job website to know more information about the position itself. Um, so don't let today's results define your involvement. I will continue to serve as a resource for you with or without my SEC title. Um, I've been involved with Associated Students since my freshman year and it's really become a passion of mine. So I really hope that you can always feel free to reach out to me, um, even if it's just to you know, confide in me, if you have a question about AS or if you just wanna chat. Um, so please, please reach out. 
Um, but before we go into the announcements and winners, I want to allow some time for anyone on this call to say a few words um, for the candidates. So I, I'd rather not wait until after the announcements because I don't want to obligate anybody to speak. But if you want to say a few words about your experience, um, this is the time to do so. So you can just unmute yourself and say something. So it's mainly open to candidates, but if you're not a candidate and you want to say a few words, please feel free to do so. Um, I allocated about 20 minutes to this, so I hope you all can get creative. I know you're antsy about, you know, knowing who won, but let's, let's finish strong. Somebody. Anybody. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm flipping through everybody. Let's see who's on here. Any candidates? Come on, like, come, like, I'll give you a few minutes just to think, to brainstorm something. Tell me about your experience, you know, thank your competitor if you had one or uh, something. Anything? I'll go ahead. Okay, come on. Who was that? I can't see you. Who was that? You can, you can just speak. <laughs> oh who was that i couldn't i couldn't flip through it was it helen nope it was not oh who said that oh, there's so many people on here uh i can go okay oh. yay um well yeah definitely want to thank my competitors uh i think Comparing how I ran last year as well and comparing how I ran last year to this year um, with all the support and everything that I got, I just want to thank everyone that helped me out and uh, it's definitely been a learning experience. So no matter what, you can always learn from any lessons. So hopefully, no matter what the results are, it definitely was a great experience. Oh, that awesome cadence. Thank you for being vulnerable and speaking up. Um, does anybody else want to say a few words? And of course, this is not, nobody's obligated to do so, but I just want to, I just want to give you all the opportunity to express yourselves. Um, I know that it was really tough to be a candidate, especially moving towards a, vet, a virtual election. Um, so this is just an open space. I mean, most of us on the Zoom are internal from within the AS. Um, so the floor continues to be open for, for anybody who wants to say a few words. Um, I'll say something. Yes. Um, so I'm not, I don't have a video chat on because I'm driving, but um, I'm Christopher Acosta. I ran for director <laughs> of Indian cultural affairs. And um, I wanted to just like give a shout out to all the candidates that ran for legislative affairs. Um, like I was watching that campaign very closely and like that was a very, very like competitive like race. And like being a political science major, I know all three of you guys are too. I understand the competitive nature of like our major itself. So like shout out to you guys. Like you guys really did an excellent job. And I hope like I know for a fact whoever wins are gonna be extremely capable of like that position. And then um a bigger shout out or another shout out to um the my two brothers that are running for BP, Clock and Wesley. So shout out to you guys. I know it's been difficult running against each other considering, you know, we're in the same fraternity, but you know, um you guys are both like Troopers and uh, good job, guys. Awesome, thank you. Please, please be safe. I don't know if you should be driving and taking a Zoom call, but thanks for your words and thanks for joining us. Um, does anybody else have a few words to say? I have a quick uh, shout out. This is Helen. Helen, yes. Well, you while, while, we're on, while we're on the subject of shout outs, I would like to give a huge shout out for Edelbert and the team that put that brought all of it to this virtual platform. I think they did an amazing job, the student designers. So I just wanted to say that they, it was very, I was very impressed by all of that because I wasn't involved in too much of it. Yes, absolutely. And I could add to add on to Helen. Um, so a, the AS marketing really didn't expect what was coming and they, they just took it. They took it, they led the way, without any hesitation. So there, we have a huge thanks to AS, um, to AS marketing because they really, 
if it wasn't for them, I don't think our elections would have been as successful as it was. Um, so huge thanks to them. Thank you, Helen. Um, anybody else? Even if you weren't a candidate and you saw an, uh, you saw an observer, you want to say something. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the candidates running that ran last year. I recognize like two of you familiar faces that I ran with that didn't happen to win last year. So I really want to commend you guys for coming back because it's something that I wasn't ready to do. Um, and regardless of the results, I want to say uh, congrats. Awesome. Thanks, Kylie. And that was our ethics officer from the Student Election Commission. Anybody else? It's great seeing all of your faces, by the way. There's like, I see so many different people. And even if you don't have your camera on, just seeing your name and recognizing that you're from the university, just, I just appreciate the support and I appreciate you all signing in to continue the um, supporting the AS elections. So this is Tamsin Burke. I'm the executive director for Student Union Incorporated, which oversees Student Union Event Center and SRAC. And I will tell you in my years, 27 years in higher education, this has been one of the most impressive elections that I've ever seen under the current situation. And I really want to commend you collectively, uh, those that, that hit the ground running, but all of the candidates and everybody that was vested in this process. Um, it, it was quite impressive. And so I want to certainly commend all of you. And we certainly look forward with the student union and, and working with your new uh, elected officers. Hi, Tamsin. Thank you so much for your kind words. So I actually work closely with um, Tamsin on the board of directors for the student union. So I appreciate your kind words and I appreciate you joining us today. Um, so now, um, um, any more? Does anybody else want to say something before we move on? We're not going to move on to announcements quite yet. So, but does anybody else have anything else to say? Oh, can I go ahead? Yes, Raj, go ahead. So, uh, I mean, I know that this is a very difficult time for each and every student, especially for the students who really work for themselves and earn for themselves and try to pay their living. I totally understand how it really feels. And I'd really like to congratulate all the SEC uh, members and all the student election people who are actually involved in this uh, particular event and made this possible because going remote is not easy and being in person is a different story altogether. So I'd like to felicitate everyone who has worked so hard in this election. No matter who wins or loses, you always try and you always struggle. That is how the life works. So I myself have tried in three different uh, different uh, organizations before. I didn't get in. No, it doesn't matter. I learned a lot. So I'm pretty sure that if you don't win today, you'll at least learn something and you'll improve yourself. So congratulations to each and every one of you. You made sure that you want to be in this leadership position of course it's totally up to all the students who want who they want to elect but at least you gave your best shot so be proud of that and yeah just just congratulate yourself just give a pat on your back yeah awesome thank you raj thank you for your sweet message i think i think some students really appreciate you saying those kind words and i think it's also important to acknowledge that you're currently in india right now so your time zone is very different and we yeah, appreciate your effort right now it's 1 a.m. There you go. You know what that's called? That's called dedication. That's called uh, dedication. Um, I, love, so, I, I, thank you. I wanted to be a part of student government for a long time and touch wood by God's grace. This time I might get in. So I, I just don't know. Fingers crossed always. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Raj. All right. Any Anybody else? Last words from anybody before we can move on. Can you hear me, Cynthia? Yes, I can hear you. Is that Christy? Yeah, I just want to thank you for leading your team. This was this was really hard for um, all of you guys, and you did an excellent job. Ah, thank you, Christy. I appreciate you. Um, Christy is from AS, and she's also been supporting us very much. So thank you, Christy. Okay, anybody else? Um, I would like to say a few words. I'm so sorry. You kept on kicking me off. My internet was acting a little funky. Um, so shout out to everybody who all the candidates were running uh, today. Well, throughout the whole journey that we we're together. And it's hard. I get it because, you know, due to COVID-19, it's been a really difficult journey. 
However, we made it through. We made it to the last, you know, meeting goal. Um, and also, I know that I'm running a post, on a post, but also, I just want to give a shout out to you because you've always been that kind of person who's always been helping me out. And it's my first time uh, running for director of internal affairs, as you may know. So thank you, Cynthia, for all the, you know, dedication, all your time for helping me and others as well. So congratulations to everybody else, too. I haven't heard the elections yet, the results, but I'm pretty sure we all did pretty well. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Rebecca. Um, well, thank you all for being here today and for sharing. Um, I appreciate it. So now we're going to move forward to something that's never been done before. Uh, I'm going to call on each candidate or at least the candidates that I see. Um, and I just want you to, to describe the election process in one word or, you know, maybe like three words max if you really need more than one word. Um, and this is just kind of Rather than just going into the results, I really want to be like, I want to be interactive. I know we missed, we missed being interactive because of the whole pandemic. So I just want to, I don't want this to end, right? So um, I'm just going to go off based on the people who I see. Um, and then if I don't call on you at the very end, just feel free to jump in and say, hey, you missed me. Um, so the first person that I have is Christopher to driving. So if you can't unmute yourself, don't, and I can move on. So I'll give you like three seconds. All good. Okay. All good. Yeah. Um, one word I would say like anxiety, like, cause like you're always like thinking about it, you know, like it's always like hanging over your head and like, uh, you know, for the first I mean, for the majority of the, the campaign, I was running a post. So it was always, you know, um, like finding something that I could do to put my name out there. You know, this was a, it was a brand new campaign where everything was, you know, digital and, you know, on social media. So um, as someone who has social media and doesn't really use it, it was kind of um, like uh, a little scary, but um, like, I don't know. It's just like the constant thought of like it being over your head and it's just like, it's stressful, but I know that, um, you know, I don't know. It's just stressful. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And yes, I think not only there were many candidates who struggled with social media, who weren't very active. Um, and this kind of really pushed them out of their comfort zone. Um, so thanks for pushing through Chris. Um, the next person that I have on my screen is Cadence. Um, I suppose the word that I would use would be friends. Uh, when I ran last year, I kind of went in blind. I didn't really know anyone on campus. I was a freshman. Uh, so I didn't really know what I was walking into, but just with the friends and the connections that I've made last year and this year alone, uh, I feel like I really had a lot of support, uh, a lot of people that I can depend on and reach out to that, uh, really made me happy that I was that I got to know them. Awesome. Thanks for sharing cadence. Next person that I have on my screen is Raj. Yeah, uh, I would say incredible energy. Incredible energy. The reason is everyone was always motivated even after having this uh, precedented pandemic in this uh, world and still people are trying to work their best. Uh, you guys were always there, supportive, always shooting emails at right time. Uh, we were trying to provide you all the informations that you needed from our side. So everyone was up in the game. So yeah, I think it was incredible to see everyone working. Awesome. Thanks, Raj. The next person that I have on my list is going to be Rebecca. So stressful. Um, and the reason is because <clears throat> it's my first time, uh, well, like I said before, I, it's my first time like running for director. And then also like, I'm not very, like I'm used to like being creative, but I'm not used to doing it over social media. So it's just kind of hard for me to do it over like digital and like posting everything, like the little flyers, but you know, it's always good to have it. You know, it's really the first time. So it's like a new experience, but yeah, I'm glad that I actually made it through. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Rebecca. The next candidate that I have is Zabeda. Uh, 
Sorry, I had to mute myself. I would consider it a learning lesson. Really important to learn from others. Um, and I think you never really start stop learning, and just was quite the process. That's why I would consider it a learning process. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. The next candidate I have is Anoop. Um, the words I would use are building community. I think during this time, people were really receptive to me reaching out to them about my campaign and um, just learning about AS in general. So it was definitely um, a chance to build community. Awesome. Thank you for sharing, Anoop. The next person that I have, and um, the next candidate that I have, um, Siobhan. You say you call you say my name, right? Yes, yeah, Siobhan. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I would say um, nerve wracking to be honest. Um, it was like my first time running, um, and I was learning along the way, and also like, talking to a lot of people. Um, it was just it was just fun, you know, something I've never done before, um, you know. Yeah, it's always like you're always like nervous or you're thinking about like what's going to happen or like what's next or how do I go about this or how do I do this? Um, but it's like facing facing your fears um, and tackling, you know, tackling your first hand. I think, you know, I learned a lot from this from this election and from this event. So looking forward to what happens, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Siobhan. The next person, the next candidate that I have is Nina. Um, one word that I would describe this whole election process would be refreshing. Um, this was my also my first time running for uh, such a like big position, I would say. Um, and it was definitely really motivating to see so many passionate individuals um, talking about what's next and what what we can do to change um, in the uh, in the student government. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Nina. The next candidate I have is Jocelyn. So, um, a word that I chose or a phrase is confidence builder. I'm running this year and last year, um, pushed me out of my comfort zone and increased my confidence in myself and my capabilities, and I'm thankful for that. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. The next candidate that I have is Brendan. Uh, so the word I chose is going to be prepared. Um, so, I mean, I ran last year for legislative affairs and actually I ran against um, a lot of the people that ran this year are people that ran last year. I mean, I think I ran against Cadence. I know I ran against the beta and I ran against Grace. So like all of us came back and, um, you know, we all kind of tried our best. I mean, we're all doing our best right now. And uh, unfortunately, Grace dropped out. But um uh, it's just really fun seeing, you know, the same familiar faces, uh, people being engaged and um, I guess being prepared, even though we're in this situation right now. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Brendan. The next candidate I have is Ashley. Um, one word I would say to describe this, these elections would be challenging. Um, for me, I've never, like many other candidates, have never done anything like this before. So it was definitely a challenge to have to reach out, especially since it was all virtual, like reach out to many different orgs and people, but I'm just thankful for the support many organizations um, offered me and the support people had and the trust they had and believing in me to be able to possibly do it. And if not, like whatever the results are, I know the other candidates are amazing. So I'm just excited to hear the results and to see What's going to happen after this? Awesome. Thanks for sharing, Ashley. Next candidate I have is Dahlia or Delilah. Sorry. Well, hey, yeah, so it's Delilah. Um, one word that I would use to describe this experience would have to be change. Like many others have mentioned before, this is my first time running for um, <clears throat> the board of director position, but also just last semester, I believe. Um, I just got involved with AS, so all of this is very new to me, but I love it because once I joined, I really fell in love with the whole mission of like students working to advocate for other students. So just all this experience has been really 
really motivating for me. And I want to say change too, because it's definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. So, and I really appreciate that. Awesome, thank you. Next candidate I have is Flor Forsario. Hi everyone, I think if I were to use one word to describe this experience, I'd probably similar to a new state community. Um, it was very overwhelming just to see people reach out to me and believe in me and trust me with such a big position. And I think it's always, you know, win or lose, it's always touching to see that people believe in you. And I think for me, you know, everybody who knows me knows that San Jose State has been such a transformative experience for me. And I'm thankful for the year that I've had on the board and hopefully I have a second year to serve on the board. But if not, I'm thankful for the work that I've done and I'm, I'm proud of myself and, you know, kudos to all of you because whether win or lose, just running on such a big platform is never easy. And I really hope that, you know, like I said, whether win or lose, y'all take something out of this because it's really something that it teaches you a lot about yourself. Awesome. Thanks, Flor. Um, the next person I have is Nicholas. Is Nicholas on here? Mm. Nicholas Kern. I didn't see his face, but um, maybe. Okay. Um, how about Leland? You're next. The question is um, one word to describe the elections? Yes. So I'll probably be, probably say new because the whole, um, yeah, it was just a new experience and I, I loved it. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Sashwa? Uh, sorry, I was late. I just, I thought it was going to start at 1.30. What was the question? Uh, the question was, if you could describe elections in one word, what would it be? Uh, yeah, I'd say similar to like Leland, it was like a, a new experience having especially done like this, uh, all this like on social media campaigning and things like that. So yeah, it's definitely just a new experience. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and I know I missed some of you, but I don't know who I missed. So um, if you were a candidate and you didn't get a time uh, to share, please unmute yourself and share. Hello. Wesley, okay. uh, yeah, I think my one word would be non-responsive. I think the fact that it was all virtual was really difficult to actually see your efforts yielding results. So it was just kind of hard to see if you were doing the right things or not. But uh, that aside, you know, congratulations to everyone. Everyone did a great job and good luck. Awesome. Thanks, Wesley. Um, who else did I miss? Did I miss anyone else? I'm just taking a quick glance at everybody's names and face. No, all right. Well, I guess it's time, right? It's time to announce the winners and, oh, wait, 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 just kidding. Before we do that, <laughs> before we do that, we were gonna take a group picture. I mean, I know it's kind of hard because we're on three screens um, and some of you don't have your picture on, but if you do have your picture on or video on, and if you do want a picture, smile. Let's see. Um, can somebody else take a picture too? Like, I'm um, just so like Sam. I think Sam has a newer phone. I'll, I'll, I'm doing it. Awesome. Oh, you know, I can take a screenshot with my computer actually. Print screen. Okay, so ready? So smile for like the next, I don't know, 10 seconds or something. Okay, I did the first page. And then the last page, oh, the last page, nobody. Awesome, all right, I think pictures are done. Hopefully we have pictures. Um, they might or might not go up, but just know. Great job, everybody. I'm so like sad about, you know, coming, you know, having to announce the winners. Like it's exciting, but it's like, it's coming to an end. So the way that we're going to announce the winners is um, we are going to announce the winners based on alphabetical order of unopposed positions, and then we're going to go in alphabetical positions with um, positions who had opponents, and then we'll go into the executive positions. Um, but I just want to remind you all one more time how great of a job you all did, and to not let this moment define how you move forward. 
I mean, I can tell you stories of how I failed and I continued. I mean, last year I ran for the board and I didn't get it, but I found a position in the student election commission. I mean, I could tell you stories, you know, all the way from high school until now of times where I failed, but I made it. So, and I don't want to take time to do that now, but just know that if, if things don't go the way you hoped, feel free to feel devastated, but don't let this discourage you to moving forward because there's so many opportunities to get involved on campus um, and especially with NAS. I mean, we have tons of committees where you can get involved and you can get involved with the university by serving on the academic senate as a student senator and then committees within the academic senate. Um, and then not even to mention, you know, we have over 400 student orgs on campus. So please don't let this moment define you um, and just know that if things don't work out, I wish I was there to give you a hug. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so the Director of Academic Affairs is a new core. And apologies if I, if I, if I, um, if I chop your name, apologies. Feel free to correct me if I mispronounce your name. Um, so we have a new core for Academic Affairs. Um, for Business Affairs, we have Raj Shah. For Co-curricular affairs, oh no, not co-curricular affairs. For intercultural affairs, we have Christopher Acosta. For internal affairs, we have Flor Rebecca Jimenez. For director of student resource affairs, we have Nina Chung. For director of students' rights and responsibilities, we have Dahlia Gomez. And for our Director of Sustainability, we have Jocelyn jones Tramel. So these are all the positions who were unopposed. And if you were unopposed, you just needed one vote to win. But I can reassure you, you all got more than one vote. <laughs> and then now on to the positions who had opponents. Um, director of Co-Curricular Affairs goes to Leland Palma. For Director of Legislative Affairs goes to Cadence Walker. Now for the executives. Um, controller goes to Flor Sario. Vice President goes to Brendan Kwok. And President goes to Zabeda Delgadillo. And <clears throat> I hope that you all are very proud of yourselves. And I'm gonna take a moment and I'm gonna give the floor to the incoming president for next year's board of directors, Zabeda Delgadillo, for her to say a few words um, a few words of encouragement and and then after we'll touch bases. So Zabeda, the floor is yours. Perfect. Thank you. So I just want to say congratulations to those of you who have been elected. It is a great privilege to welcome you to the AS board for the 2020-2021 term. I hope you all treat this role with the utmost care and dedication. AS has a long history of legacy, activism, and solidarity, so I hope this future board can continue and contribute to that legacy. For students not serving on the board next year, I hope this isn't your end with AS. Please apply to be a committee member, student assistant, or volunteer. AS has countless of opportunities for students to be involved and informed. In regards to the COVID-19 circumstances, it is a time filled with a lot of uncertainty and constant adjustment, so thank you to everyone who's who's participated and offered their time in any way, shape, or form. It is very much appreciated. Um, this is the end of campaigning, but then the beginning to never ending efforts to advocate for our students here at SJSU. AS has opened the door of opportunity for me, in which I hope to continue as my role as president. So thank you, everyone. Awesome. Thank you, Zubeda. Um Now, this is, this is a weird time because it's like you want to celebrate, but it's like, what do we do when we're all locked at home, right? Um, but thank you all once again. I'm going to stay on here. If you want to stay on and chat, feel free to do so. 
But this concludes the election result party. Once again, congratulations to everyone who won. And for those of you who did not, please don't be discouraged and continue to get involved. I'm always here for you as a resource and there's a number of other people willing to serve as a resource for you. Um, so thank you all. And um, we will be posting the official election results on Instagram, on the SAMI app, and I will send an official email to all the candidates. If you want to look at the breakdown of how many people voted for what position. So thank you all. Please feel free to unmute yourself. Please free feel to stay to go. Um, and thanks again. And hi, it's Carol again. And uh, thank you so much for everyone again to participate. Like uh, Cynthia said, no matter the result, be part of all the effort that you made in running those campaign because uh, it makes you stronger as a person. Even if you didn't get the position, you still made an impact. And please, please don't be discouraged. Continue to be involved with AS. There's always other ways to get involved. And we're here to provide you any support. So um, just your, your all, all of you here are part of AS anyway, since you know, you're part of San Jose State. So thank you, thank you once right. again. And I'm excited for the, to work with the team next year. Yes, and I would like to remind you all that we have one position um, who it, a, a, a vacant position and that is director of communications or director yeah um so the application is going out today and the deadline is may 1st um so please know more um please research that if you're interested if you still want to be on the board here's another opportunity but know that you know there's other opportunities to get involved so thank you all goodbye bye you all thank you Oh, everybody's just going. Uh, I'll stay for you, Cynthia. Okay. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, it's not I'm over sad, just Cynthia. yet. It's, we're still here. We're still here. I feel like crying. I'm so emotional. Oh. There's, there's, cry. a, there's a little bit of both, you know. Let the excitement overweigh the sadness. It's okay. It's a lot of good stuff happening. The future yeah. is a Look at Flo. She has a party <laughs> going on. She has a party going on. Oh my God, God. You oh, the, oh, the floor. She's like, I'm going to give you your own election results party. <clears throat> and my mom, she's actually making tamales. She told me that if I won, she's going to make me tamales. So she's in the um, kitchen right now making them. And I'm like, Mom, what if I lose? She's like, we're still going to eat them. <laughs> so <laughs> Give me some. Gonna, like, I want some. Man, I'm, you I don't live too far from you, Flo. I'm, I'm huh? drive down. I'm a drive down, Flo. I don't live too far from King City. <laughs> I can order for you, Carol. Congratulations, Floor. Let me, my mom wants to show y'all what she's doing, so. Oh, yes, please oh. do. So this is my mama there. Hello. Oh, my, my heart. <laughs> so thank y'all. It was, it was very emotional, and I really appreciate it. Like I said, Cynthia, your work and all the work of the SEC. It wasn't easy for y'all to pull through, and it's really impressive that you guys got more numbers than last year, so I hope y'all are proud of yourselves for that. Congrats, Floor. Does Congratulations, Floor. Congratulations, Floor. Congrats. Right. I will buy one of those from your mom, like, right now. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Bye, Floor. Bye. So we're down to a few participants. Let me see how many we have. 24. The voter turnout was so good. The mm -hmm. voter turnout was 2,460, and, you know, we have to give it up to marketing. Like, you guys really pulled through, like, I appreciate everybody on the marketing team. Like, I mean, you should have seen us. Like, we were after hours, like, sending each other text messages, like, oh, wait, wait, what about this? And what about that? And awesome job, really. Marketing, my heart. I, it, would, it wouldn't have been possible without the marketing team, especially Edelbert. He was, like, so supportive. Even when it, be, it went beyond um, having to do directly with marketing, he was there. So thank you so much, Edelbert. It's really a joy to work with the SEC and even more of a joy to realize we've had more voters from, from this year than last year. And I really enjoyed watching the candidates just doing their videos and I see them campaigning and working hard. And it's, it's just amazing despite what we're going through that we really delivered a successful experience for students. So yeah. Thank I've been you. looking forward to this like all week. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think overall the elections went as best as we could. I felt like sometimes there were some moments of doubt where we were like, oh, I was really disappointed. I mean, you know, to begin with, we didn't have as many candidates as I would have liked. And then they slowly started dropping 
Um, but overall, I'm really content. I feel like we have some great people for next year's board of directors. So I'm overall very proud of all the work that the SEC has done. Okay, well, I mean, it's officially over. I could I can talk about my gratitude all day, but I mean, feel free to log out. Yes. I, I do want to shout out for um, Samantha because she just recently yeah. joined us and that's our leadership. Sam. Yes. You yes, Sam. We did not forget about you, Sam. Okay. Sam. Thank you, thank you. All of us do this. You are a natural and okay. we're so happy to have you on board. And yeah, our new board is lucky to also have your guidance and, and also the SEC. And so thank you for all the work that you've done. This is oh, a cry. Thank you. Party. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Let's all cry right now. I oh. Can I give a quick shout out to Somia? Because uh, I mean, Edelbert has been done so amazing and I'm so grateful to all of the work that you've done too. But Somia like is not even in the country anymore currently. And you're like trying to make time zones work and like yeah. do marketing from like internationally. So I think that that also serves its own. Oh, that's so sweet, Adam. Shout Thank out. you. I'm going to cry like really. <laughs> When, when we have our SEC get together, we're all going to cry. Or trust me, I'll cry. I'll cry for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a shout out to everyone for being so supportive and like um, being there, being so adoptable. I just love you guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys did an awesome job again and, and really can't, you all made it. Like without a, all of your energy, then this won't have happened. All that, the voter turnout, it's because of you all. So yeah, thanks marketing. Thanks, Eddie Bear. Thanks, Sam, for being the rock to keep the, them all together. And so really appreciate it. I can't wait until what next year is gonna bring, you know, with this new team. All right, well, we do have to say goodbye. Have yeah. to move on, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so thank you all for staying to the very last minute. I'll probably just stay just in case you wanna to talk to me. Um, but thank you all for logging on and great job, everyone. Thanks, Cynthia. Great Bye. job. Hi, everybody. Bye. Hope you're doing well. Bye. Bye, Ariadna. Bye. Hi, and bye, Ariadna. Bye. Ariadna, I don't want to leave. <laughs> it's okay, Ariadna. You don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Like, ah. Oh. Okay, Y'all have no uh, idea. <laughs> is, anyone else, is anyone else making food right now? I'd love to see what you guys are all eating to celebrate. Unfortunately, I'm starving. I'm not making anything. <laughs> Sorry, Peyton. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, bye, right. Anya. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, okay, bye Edward. Bye. Thank you. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and just us, that. actually. Yeah. We'll just all right. Oh my god, Sam. Okay. Uh bye. we're meeting bye. on Monday, right? Anything. Yeah, I put something in your calendar already. Do you want to oh. cry on Monday? I want to cry. I want to cry right now. It's okay. I'm so emotional. You did great. It was a good season we ran. It's like it's coming Got to better a vote. It's coming I to know. a Oh, but this is recorded, so I can cry offline. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's still recording. Okay, we'll talk next week. Okay, bye. Bye.